Konbanwa, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Grape. So for today's video, I'm filming my first time reacting to Red Velvet's older music videos. And for today's video, I picked four music videos with Velvet concept. So while I put music video, let me speak briefly about how much I know about Red Velvet. So I know of group. I know the group. I know the members as well. Irene Sogi Sogi Sogi. Wendy Joy Yeri. And from their discography, I've listened to Zinzalbin and also when they came out with Psycho, I was quite obsessed with the song as well as the music video. I think the music video looks stunning. So I, I am familiar with these two songs. And sometimes I would let my YouTube play random music video or stage performance from the past on my TV. So I think I've heard of a couple of different songs from them but I wouldn't be able to link the songs to the title of the songs to music video so today is the day to study about them I mean I only discovered about Red Velvet having two different concepts they have a velvet concept which is mature a bit more sexy I assume and a little bit more darker concept as opposed to their red concept which is supposed to be bright cute colorful cheerful concept I heard. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. And the music video I'm reacting to today, it's starting with Peekaboo, Bad Boy, Automatic and Really Bad Boy. Is it linked to Bad Boy? Bad Boy and Really Bad Boy. I don't know. So this is not in order of the release. Uh, this actually is the order of my friend recommended me to watch. Even though I really loved Psycho music video and the song that they did, I was not a huge fan of Queendom when it first came out. And then it kind of grew on me and I had a phase where I wouldn't skip that song when it comes on on my playlist. But I'm like, mm, the Queendom music video wasn't my favorite thing I've ever watched. So I'm a bit skeptical about this. I don't know if I will love, I don't know if I will end up liking it. Just so you guys know, even if I show like, mm, this is okay reaction, don't get offended. I'm just gonna be like 100% honest with every single music video that I'm going to be watching. But anyway, so let's get started with Peekaboo. I think this is a song, I may have heard of it from Produce48. I think they had this song as a challenge song for the girls to perform. I, I'm kind of excited to start this journey. Alright, so this is Peekaboo by Red Velvet. Wait, sorry for stopping, but so just to be clear, so this is Joy, Wendy, Yeri, Aileen, Sugi, right? And I feel like Yeri is holding a gun. I'm not a huge fan whenever Idol holds a gun in a music video pizza pizza boy ah oh, yeah, yeah yeah i remember now this song was that a knife Oh, I mean, their visual game is... So strong. Is that the pizza boy earlier? Oh my god. <laughs> Stare. Is it allowed? I knew Velvet concept was going to be very mature, but this seems very dark, huh? Oh my god, all the weapons! Who is she talking to? Oh, she was ordering a pizza. Are they trying to like kill each other? Oh my god, a joy is... I, I mean, I love this song.
now they look like they are happily playing with each other. Everyone's blindfolded. What the? So now, what? So girls are trying to escape from the house, but every member was holding a hand with a pizza boy. Oh, so it's going back to the beginning of the music video. So it's like a loop. So he got caught and murdered. And now his polo is in the house for display. I mean, I loved the song. It's so catchy and I love the whistle. I don't know if it's a whistle, actually a whistle sound, but like, like that sound, I really like it. I don't know why I didn't put it in my playlist right after I listened to this for the performance on Produce 48. This is very much my type of song, so I really liked it. But music video was confusing as fuck. I'm like, What's going on? Though, the visual game was so strong. Clearly you saw me in my reaction to Joy when she was like doing this on the table. That was like, whoa my god. But I really liked this blonde hair for Wendy. I didn't re- I don't think I've ever seen Wendy in blonde. I don't remember what Jin Zalabin music video looks like, so I don't remember her hair color. But for Queen Them, for Got The Beat, and Psycho, I don't think she was blonde. Was she? For Psycho? I don't know. But they all look so pretty. SM visual game is no joke. Alright, I think that's it for Peekaboo. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one is Bad Boy. So with the velvet concept, is it going to be as dark as Peekaboo? Like the girls were trying to murder. I wonder that if that's going to be the case for throughout the velvet concept. Alright, screen recorded. Let's get started. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, my God. Slumber party. I think Solgi looks so charismatic. Oh my god, Joy! That's Wendy with a dark black hair? Oh, it's like a dark pink hair. But wait, let's follow the storyline. This bow on top of her Irene's hair? iconic idol hair. This is the reason why she can claim to be the original visual because I mean whoever put this whole concept together shout out. I don't know who you are but shout out to the creative director. It's so well done. The song though it's very chill, isn't it? Oh my god, I just love this uh, stage setting. It looks like they are in a snow, freezing country. Oh, she looks so pretty with the bob hair. Again, a gun.
Oh my god. They look like such a bad bitches. Don't get offended. Oh my god, why do I like this song so much? It's so catchy! Okay. It's so pretty, the color scheme, I love it. Oh my god, Joy! Wait, when did this come out? Oh, she's wearing opening ceremony, so it's maybe old. Oh my god. This is so iconic. Damn. Like, look at this. Are those bloods? I mean, it looks like it. Irene had the same gaze in Peekaboo. She's like, her gaze is telling you that she's going to kill you right this moment. I mean, not actually, obviously, but I feel like she's like giving that killer stare. The perfect red velvet. Bad boy. Um, at this point, I really think I should give up on following the storyline. It looks like in Velvet Concept, these girls are trying to kill someone. I don't know if it's each other or any certain boys, but I guess people have already spoken about this and making a theory. So if you have any theories, please comment down below and let me know. I kind of want to know what this is representing. Like for example, the book with the lip mark on the front page, which we didn't see towards the end of the music video. I feel like there's a lot of meaning behind it. They do really well, mysterious music video, huh? In terms of the song, halfway through, I felt uh, kind of like a gap between music video and the actual song because the music video, it's dark, um, but the color they picked was quite vivid and the outfit screams very girl crush, strong girls. But the melody and the song itself is kind of chill. If I was only listening to this song, I wouldn't, Im I wouldn't have imagined this music video at all. So halfway through the music video, I was kind of feeling mismatch between the music video and the song. But towards the end, because it, it was visually so pleasing and the song was very pleasing to my ear and I really liked it. So yeah, I really liked it. If you know me, uh, I have been keep on saying that how much of a girl group stan I was in the past, but the fact I didn't know about this song is kind of embarrassing for me to say that I actually am a girl group stan. Like I should have known this song because it's really good. So now we are moving on to Automatic, which actually came out in 2015. Interesting. So the first two songs came out in 2017-2018 phase, so it's closer to current. But now we are going way back. Seven years ago? I wonder what kind of songs they were doing back then. Alright, so this is Automatic. Let me have a sip. Is it Sugi? Really wasn't expecting. Everyone's blonde? It's giving me very much of R&B inspired Japanese pop. For example, like Utada Hikaru, like back in the day, maybe around the same phase. Maybe it was a trend. 
What they did, oh my god. I feel like this can be bored song. I mean, same agency. Can this be my favorite song by them? Oh my god, the fact they're all blonde is so cute! Oh, Suki looks stunning. Wait, that's Eileen? I feel like because of makeup and the hair is different, I can't... ...tell. But oh my god, this is so unexpected. That's joy. Wait, who is this? Is this Wendy? To be all blonde. Wow. Like, I want to go back and watch it again. In the intro, did I say, I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. Did I say that? Let's go back in time and punch my face because, oh my god. I keep on saying, every time I'm discovering new groups, I'm always like, oh my god, why didn't I discover about this? earlier i hate myself for it blah 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 i mean there's a reason why they have been around because look at this it, because it's good in terms of the song i like it i quite like it is this something catchy and iconic yes in a way but it doesn't scream k-pop to me maybe that's because of me not being educated with the k-pop history but then it does sound like boan song so it does scream sm in that sense it's like very interesting because they were doing this concept for red velvet like a girl group and i'm assuming it's around the time they debuted because it's 2015 i need to go back and check the time frame impressed liked it nothing much more to say to be honest all right, let's move on to the last one. So the last one is really Bad Boy. Before I actually watch it, let me check if it's before or after Bad Boy. It's after. I wonder if it's actually linked to Bad Boy. So far, I've been loving every single music video. Okay, really Bad Boy. Okay, so this is more of a... Come on, vocal. Come on, vocal. Okay, this doesn't look like a fan group from Automatic, but I'm loving the visual game again.
so high. Oh my god, they're serving the vocal in this song, huh? I'm loving the styling. It feels very 2018, yes, but I like it. Oh, so there's a wolf? They are actually in the mouth of Wolf. Oh my god, Joyce outfit though. Oh my god, I can't. It's a, there's a lot happening. They look like a cat woman. Are they gonna do the whistle again? Oh, the hair. For Silky, it's everything. Oh my god, the whistle. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we are ending on an interesting note. So I have a mixed feeling about Really Bad Boy. Uh, song, not so much of my type of song. I don't know if it's the correct term, but I just had to look it up. I'm not a huge fan when the music is using a brass instrument. I'm not a huge fan of that kind of song sound. Um, I'm going to sound so stupid but I don't know what's what's the genre of this music is called. But when I'm listening to when I listen to this kind of sound it reminds me of like an old Hollywood. But at the same time maybe I'm think, thinking about old Hollywood just because in a music video there was a Hollywood sign in there behind. Maybe they used that sign because of that sound. I'm not sure. But anyways what I'm trying to say is I'm not a huge fan of that sound song but the reason why i'm having a mixed feeling is because i really really liked what was going on visually like the styling and the hairstyle and the makeup screams k-pop which i really really like and sulgi with the blonde hair not the full straight hair going down but a little bit pushed up and giving the wet hair look she looks stunning and i actually never thought of this but i think um, Wendy was actually having a quite heavy makeup in Automatic and so did she here as well and she looks very good with heavy makeup I think she's been wearing a lot less in Queendom or in the gut the beat I feel like she's wearing a way less makeup compared to her face here but I think she looks stunning and I don't think I need to speak about Joy but let me just say that bell bottom glitter black trouser with a cropped top with a long black glove stunning but now i'm talking about it it does have a bit and pieces of retro element like bell bottom yeah i listened to this for the second time just then to make sure how i feel about the song and it's safe to say i'm not a huge fan of really bad boy once again but if i'm ranking between these four songs i think i really like bad boy automatic followed by peekaboo Peekaboo and Automatic, I think it's a tie because it's really two different songs. I can really enjoy both of them. But personally, I think Bad Boy is way better than either one of these two songs. And really Bad Boy at 
fourth. So yeah, no one's asking, but that's my ranking of these four songs. So now I found out I really, really love what they do visually for the music video. I'm very excited to see what kind of concept or music that they actually did for Red concept. I feel like they really went for this mysterious and creepy element and they did it really well. And what I wonder is if they're going to have that element into Red concept. But I guess I will find that out in my next part of first time reacting to Red Velvet's old music video. So please stay tuned for that. Um, if you like this video, please put a thumbs up. And I cannot wait to see what they're going to be bringing with their next comeback in March, which is happening very soon. Was Queendom Red concept and Psycho Velvet concept? Huh, interesting. And please comment down below which song by Red Velvet with Velvet concept is your favorite song. I'd love to know. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.